Hello, my name's Phil and you're watching Unwinning Entertainment. I've been ducking and diving, bobbing and weaving and rolling with the punches here today bringing you episode 8 of Ghost Haunted and today I've got no friends. Um, I'm going to be having a go at this solo uh, for a laugh. I mean I'd much rather have uh, my friends around me to hold my hand but um, just for a laugh we're going to um, we're going to have a go on my own. Um, unfortunately I'm a bit light uh, on items because I've um, I've died quite a bit recently and lost quite a lot of gear so I'm down to about 18 pound um, so I can't really buy a lot with that so depending on what the mission is um, I might be a bit stuck on what I can actually achieve um, but we're gonna give it a go you know might um, might still work out so um, we're going to go for Edgefield Street House on Amateur because I'm on my own. So I want a bit of time to figure out where things are, give myself a little bit of an advantage. Because since the uh, the update, and I'm playing the uh, the new beta, by the way, um, yeah, they've really nerfed the um, thermometer. So um, so yeah, it's no longer the um, uh, you know you'd run in you'd find the coldest room and that's where your ghost was and you know it was just quickest to that room three people running and uh yeah so i understand why they did that um but yeah i don't really know what's going on again so um let's see what happens Okay, so uh, find the ghost type that you're dealing with, get the ghost to walk through salt, prevent the ghost from hunting with a crucifix, find evidence of the paranormal with an EMF reader. So uh, I've done some investigating for you, cheers. Uh, looks like the ghost's name is Sandra Harris. Uh, this ghost also seems to only respond to people who are alone, well that's convenient. Um, you should be able to, uh, to use its name to piss it off basically make sure you refer to the journal and write down any evidence you find we're gonna do that we've got five minutes from when I open the door I've got the key pro tip there get the key strong flashlight video camera for starters because then when you uh, shit the bed run back to the van uh, after you find the room you can immediately check for ghost orbs fine that's the best way around to do it um, and EMF reader I'm probably trusting the EMF reader more than I'm trusting the um, thermometer these days I think there's still a you know I think it's still useful uh, you know you need the thermometer to pick um, to do certain objectives but it's um, yeah, I think like you need to turn the uh, the breaker on in houses these days, and uh, and then it warms up because everywhere is cold or something like that. But we haven't got a thermometer, so we'll worry about that in another episode. Now my money's on basement, always on the basement. Mm, it's a bit spooky. Sandra, are you here? Sandra! Hmm. It's holding out for a sign. Heard a creak there. 
had a creak and I don't think it was my chair in real life I really need to invest in a new chair so apologies for any uh, squeaking maybe I'll treat myself to a new one when I get my uh, millionth subscriber yeah make sure you, you hammer that like button hammer it like you've never hammered it before even though I've delivered very little so far apart from where the breaker location is smash like for the breaker oh there's nothing like that eerie background kind of sound in this game very eerie okay well the breaker appears to be on already I'm sure that was a thing where it was always off at least for the last couple of games that I played yeah I don't know yeah because I got it set to Phasmophobia Beta and I think there's been another beta added since so I haven't read what, what's new about that which I thought I thought about should I read it and then I thought no something different might happen you know it might be more it's good to keep it fresh and the unexpected because it was um, a bit spooky when the ghost can now come through the door at you working my way through seeing if this goes off Sandra Harris, where are you? Game changer. As you can probably uh, start to guess I'm a bit of a one trick pony at the moment just walking around with me uh, EMF reader but um, it was one of the objectives so I'm, I'm figuring it was gonna you know that might be a hint towards it being one of the actual bits of evidence I don't know probably not two different things I think Dave told me that you know if it's an EMF 5 that's just um, for your objective but you really want to be wary of um, EMF level 4 because you know that's a ghost like about to manifest and it can still be just as dangerous it's just EMF 5 is just an objective ticker and 1, 2 and 3 probably denote different uh, levels of being pissed off um, I'm probably an EMF2 then at the moment I'm getting slightly pissed that I can't I can't find anything maybe if I turn some lights on I can um, get a reaction they might start flickering or the breaker might just go because everyone's got dodgy power supplies in this uh, game all the houses don't know what energy provider they're using but I'd have a word nothing occurring at the moment haven't even heard any ghost footsteps oh a little bit of a lag 
spike there. I have my hunches that something usually happens but after one of them. Let's go back to the basement again. Ooh. Oh! Okay. We're close then. Sandra! It's got to be five minutes ago, I'll be up by now. Sandra! Okay, let's um... God, I'm terrible at dropping place in these. I just go drop. I don't go place. Okay. Oh! Am I getting a bit of cold breath? Cold breath? Yeah, cold breath. Oh, Christ. Okay, well let's regroup, grab some more stuff. I told you it was in the basement. It was always in the basement, but it just was a bit shy. I know you doubted me, but I always know me onions. Yes, in five minutes was definitely up there, so... Sanity's at 82, so I've not been nerfed on that too bad. Oh, because I'm smart. I think I left the light on in there. Um, yeah, that's a bit rookie. Oh, I think there's an orb there. I think I saw an orb um, right in the middle there. Yeah, there's definitely orbs So I just saw one just right at the locket. Yeah, there's definitely orbs, even though I didn't really help myself out by turning the light off. So, um, ghost orb, freezing temperatures, um, we don't know if it's going to be EMF yet, I mean that was one of the, uh, no that wasn't, oh yes it was, yeah, find evidence, I had thought it had to be EMF 5, oh well, I've never confessed to knowing exactly what I'm talking about, um, Groovy. Right, so now it's probably about getting some salt and uh, a crucifix down there. Okay, so what could it be? EMF 5 would be Phantom. Spirit Box would be Mare. But I'm not sure if my sanity's been nerfed enough for me to think it's a, a Mare. I'm pretty sure they really hit your sanity level pretty hard. Um, can't be Fingerprints. Um, Ghost Orb. Oh, we've just said that. Yeah, ghost writing. Oh, that'd be Yuri, uh, not the spoon bender, but the ghost. And uh, they're a barrel of laughs. So, um, so salt and crucifix, let's do that. Pick it up. So I don't know where it's where it's roaming about, but I'll put some salt down there. Put a bit there. And there you go. You can find Jesus. See if that does anything. Stomping around. So I need to put a book out really to see if it's that. There's already an EMF 5 down there. Oh, something moved. Okay, we'll bring a spirit box and a book. Yeah, I don't really uh, really understand the EMF 5 versus the evidence versus the um, side objective. I've brain farted on that one. But it's done there, so... So I'll just shut up about that. Uh, 
Right, let's um, let's go and interview it. It is Sandra Harris, isn't it? Yes, it's Sandra Harris. Are you here? Away. Yes, you bloody well are. Oh, that's why. Oh shit. Right. Okay, so I know what it is now. So I'll just refresh my memory. Read up a little bit about it. I played enough of this that I should remember all this, but <laughs> I don't. So it is a mare. Um, um, do mares uh, then decrease your sanity? I thought they do. I thought they get into your nightmares. A mare is the source of all nightmares, making it the most powerful in the dark. Unique strengths. A mare will have an increased chance to attack in the dark. Weaknesses. Turning the lights on around the mare will lower its chance to attack. Evidence. So, yeah, we've got that. Spirit rocks, ghost orbs and freezing temps. Yeah, it's turned off the light, I think. You clearly see those orbs. So, yeah, we're definitely dealing with a mare. Oh, and we've done the salt, so it's walked through the salt. So I just need to prevent a uh, it prevent it from hunting, really. Whew, what could go wrong? Well, it'd be a bit rubbish if I just... You know, I do need the money, but if I didn't at least try and get a like, photograph of it, I'd, I'd see it as a bit of a failure. Um... Okay, so we take another crucifix. That way I can peg it up the stairs if it goes south. As in, shit goes down. Sandra Harris, how are you today? Are you well? I'd just be pleased if I get this objective to be honest. Sandra Harris. Yeah, I've got it on push to talk in game, so while I'm talking now, the, the ghost shouldn't be able to hear me unless I want it to. Um, so you get my inner monologue, really. Apart from when I'm calling out to the ghost. Sandra, show yourself. Or not. Oh, Christ. So my sanity should be going down, so it should start to hunt. Because even though I'm, you know, not, you know, really happy about it coming to kill me, I kind of feel like that's what needs to happen. How are you? Where are you? Are you happy? God damn it, I really need to get better at that. Where are you? Might help if I uh, press the push to talk button. Where are you? How old are you? 
How many people have you killed? Do you smell? Okay, my sanity is probably not going to be looking good at the moment. Let's just check and then um, I'll go back and give it some more shit. Yeah, 68, so... me. Sandra Harris Sandra Harris where are you? <gasps> Ouija board Oh I want that How old are you? Twenty-eight, that's not old. Twenty-eight is not old. God damn it. Where are you? Basement. How many people did you kill? How many people did you kill? Two? Rubbish. Well, it might be a third tonight if you play your cards right. <gasps> oh my god, fucking Nora's that shit me right up, that did. Ooh. Right, I'm fucking. I've, I've browned my pants. Right in my frickin' lug hole. Sandra Harris! Show yourself, Sandra. Please. Ghost orbs out there, it's down here somewhere. Oh shit house. Right, run the fuck away. And hopefully the crucifix do their thing. Let's see if we can see it. Oh shit, she's coming up the fucking stairs like Shit my pants. So it's a little. So it's a. Looked to me it was a crawler. It looked more like it was the, the child crawler than the adult. Like the grudge crawler. Oh, nasty. Let's see if I can get a picture. Shit 
taking a break right now. Oh shit. Okay, so it's pissed off. I'll oh, just be quiet. Oh, fuck, Nora. It is pissed. So I'm hoping it can't hear me, <laughs> but I've been quiet all the time because uh, I'm a little bit worried. Crucifixes. God, it's hunting all the time now. God, it'd be a miracle if it doesn't hunt again. Door slams. Oh, right, I'm out. Oh, and I can unclench. Right, I think I got a picture of it. Yeah, you can just about see the little bastard coming out of there. Okay, so it did stop one of the hunts. So, brilliant. I think I'm all done. And I didn't die. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, 0% sanity. I'm not surprised. It was hitting me a bit hard there. Um, okay, well, let's just confirm that. Let's see if we're actually all good. Brilliant, so that was a mess, so that's 70 quid in the bank. Um, yeah, got my photo, quite proud of that. Uh, Dave would be upset because I didn't get the bone evidence, but I'll live with that. Okay, so um, yeah, that was um, a bit different doing it on my own. Uh, I think I'd prefer to do it with people. It's a uh, better banter anyway, but um, yeah, I, uh, I enjoyed that. So uh, yeah, hopefully see you in the next one. Keep it real.